So this is what happened to my school. It's just so hard to believe that once this was a, a flourishing corridor with kids with bugs and people going home. This was the gymnasium where all the basketball games took place. And you might know that Reagansville was well known for all its championships in Sequoia Union High School District. You had to know how to swim before you could graduate from Ravenswood. And I remember I almost drowned my first year. So, a lot of memories at the swimming pool. I, I attended Ravenswood in 68 and 69. That was the period with headbands and, like I, I said earlier, afros, um, black power. Um, all of that, all of that took place at this school. Mr. Taylor, you're suggesting that these kids here aren't getting a good education. Is that correct? What I am saying, not just suggesting, is that this is a segregated school. A segregated education is inherently an inferior education, be the segregation white or black. Opened in 1958, Ravenswood was part of a regional high school district. Its controversial attendance boundaries, set by the freeway, had created a predominantly black school. By 1968, parents' concerns over the quality of education, the community's desire to control its local school, and federal mandates to desegregate had all come into conflict. We did a sit-in. And we sat in the administration office right here for two days. And um, camera crews and everybody were up here. It was a big mess. Talking today here at the 75% black high school, 16-year-old Charles Bolding, who is student body president. In our demands, we have, say, more modern black and white literature uh, in our library. We don't have this. We have a long list of, of books that are modern, that relate to these times that we want. Individualizing instruction, me resigning for the teaching of black history, some 15 demands, uh, quite a comprehensive list, pretty well thought out, I think. Well, do I interpret your remarks to say that you're in a sense in sympathy with some of their demands? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, who can quarrel with a drive to improve education? The sit-in was a success. The district met black student demands, and the principal resigned. But one year later, Ravenswood would change forever as the high school district put in place the required desegregation plan. They started the integration busing, and I was one of the first people on that first bus leaving from East Palo Alto to go to San Carlos. They were shipping black students out of Ravenswood to these other uh, communities, and it was supposed to work the same way. And you was, you know, the kids from San Carlos and Woodside and, and all up in there were supposed to come here. The district actively recruited white students to volunteer for Ravenswood, offering innovative classes and programs. At first, this worked, but by 1975, the school's enrollment had dropped to almost half capacity. Despite protests from the community, the high school district, already struggling financially, chose to shut down Ravenswood and bus all East Palo Alto students to high schools outside of the community. What is this? Yeah. Ravenswood High School. Library materials. Ooh, and this is a trip. Soul brother number one. We know who this is. And that's my boy James Brown. <laughs> wow. I remember this. And I I get I think this is probably be fitting. It's by Langston Hughes. Dreams. Hold fast to dreams. For if dreams die, life 
is a broken winged bird that cannot fly. Hold fast to dreams, for when dreams go, life is a barren field frozen with snow. Langston Hughes. God. It's the only book left in here, too, man.